teeth. So here we have a idiom. We're seeing that thou. How do you read this word? Hi, it's kini iru. Yep, kini iru. And do you happen to remember what kini ita means? Kini iru? You say it was to be interested. Yes, to be interested to, in something. To be interested in something. Hi. Hi. It kind of means like you like it. Like, ooh, nice. Yes. Let's go read the line from the book. Hi. Hi. So, i ya seki da. Ki ni ita. Can you read a state for me again? Yes. It's a good estate. Right. I like it. Perfect. Nice estate. Kini I like it. Ita. Kini ita. Um, do you know what rashi means? Rashi. It seems. Yeah. What is your guess about putting it into te form? Rashi te. That'd be a good guess. It's kute. Rashikute. Which could be just rashikute. Rashikute. Perfect. Um, can you read this for me? Yurumeru. Yep. Yurumeru is a ru verb and it means to loosen. Something is loosened. What is the te form of yurumeru? Yurumete. I you admit that perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? You yo yo shin yo shin bo. Hi. Do you think there might be some rendaku in this word? Hey, rendaku yo jin bo. Hi. Wa. Kuchimoto. Kuchimoto Yurumete Loosening Yurumete Loosening the mouth or the area in front of the mouth Hi. or around the mouth. Specifically around. Um Moto. Hi. The Ooh. bodyguard. Yes. Yojimbo wa. The bodyguard loosens the area around his mouth. So this is like a Mona Lisa yeah, smile. So, he, so it's not like a I, big smile, but you know, it's a little little bit like that, you know. So if you're like grumpy, have a mad face, and then it like it softens, right? It's just a little bit of a smile. You know. Your mouth loosens. Hi. Um, can you read this for me? Hi. Um, I chuck. Hi, I chuck means like to love something, but it's normally like to love an object, not to be like, "Hey, marry me, babe." I chuck. It's like beloved item. Normally, it's like your love just kind of arrives there. I chuck it. Um, can you read this line from our book? I. Nobody mo. Ko no. Yashikini I Chakuga Arura Shiku Kuchimoto Yurumeteru Nebari Nebari also uh this mansions the um He is it's a th a thing that he likes. I chaku ga arurashi. It seems like it seems like this is a thing he like. Yes. I would say this mo is probably more like even. Even nobody seems like he loves this mansion. So what is he what happens to nobody? He 
Kuchimoto o Yurumeteru, he, he relaxes, he loosens his lips. Hi, exactly. He gives us okay. a smile. Yeah, a little Mona Lisa smile. smile. Do you remember how to say chimney in Japanese? It's. Totsu. It does end with totsu. En totsu. To en totsu. En totsu. Hi. Kemeri no en. How about mado? What does that mean? That's <laughs> a window. <laughs> yeah. When what is roof? Yeah, ne. Perfect. And how about stories, like four stories? Kai datte. Perfect. So tell me chimney again. Uh, chimney is entotsu. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Hyojo. Perfect. Hyojo is your facial expression. Hyojo. It ends with jo. Do you know what it started with? Hyo. Yep. Hyo. Can you read this for me? Mu hyojo. Yep, mu hyojo. Perfect. Any idea what this might mean? Without face, yeah. without a, without a, a facial, facial expression. expression. So this is so a when... blank. Yep. No, no facial expression. Mu yojo, expressionless. Um, can you read this for me? Machutsushi, machutsushi wa kuchimoto o yurumeta ga onna koushaku wa mu hiyojo da. The Duchess uh, was without was uh, expressionless. Um, the the magicians, um, the magician uh, have a faint smile, or he relaxes the the face, the mouth. However, the Duchess was expressionless. Perfect. Or is expressionless. Yep, is expressionless. Perfect, perfect. Um, um, do you know what mitomemas means? This is something the Duchess wrote in her letter. Ten men tekini mitomemas. Ten men tekini mitomemas. I think it meant to look. Good to guess. Follow, it act mitomemas mitomeru means to recognize, but not in a um kizuku kind of way, but in a I have no choice but to recognize. So the sentence in here says, uh majuchi majuchi tachi ga kore made hotondo ie mataku yaku ni tatenai koto wa zenmen teki ni mitomemas. I have to, the so she says, the magicians up to now have basically been, no, 100% have been absolutely useless. I have to recognize that. Or I have to admit that. That makes sense what mitomemas Hi. means? Hi. To uh, recognize or to admit. Hi. Can you read this for me? Honjin. Honjin. What does Honjin mean? The true person. So that the 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 person who did the thing. Right. The one who's um, responsible. Yeah, the person themselves. And specifically it's pronounced as Honin rather than Jin. I was like, I felt like it was Honin, but I was like, I didn't want to correct you, but I was wrong. <laughs> Google it. Hi. Honin. Honin. And that is the original person, the person themselves. 
Um, this word starts with mu hyo. What does it end with? Jo. Perfect. Jo. Yep. And just making Joshi. sure you know it's hyo and not hyo. You did pronounce it right, I think, just a second ago, but there were a couple of times you went hyo, but it's hyo. It's uh, H yo. There's no E sound. Hyo. Hyo jo. Um, let's go Hyo read jo. this sentence. Honnin ga michimeta no ni. That does say cheer. Kao wa muhiyo, muhiyo, muhiyo jo da. Muhiyo jo da. Perfect. So this was supposed to say, Honin ga mitometa no ni kao wa muhyojo da. Um, so, mitomeru from mitomemas. Mitometa no ni, despite the actual person admitting it, uh, the face, kao wa, was expressionless, meaning mu hiyojo da. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Despite the person admitting mm -hmm. his face remained expression. Yeah. Sunao. Perfect. So sunao is a na adjective. And it basically tends to be used to describe like a good kid, like in a docile, well-behaved kind of thing. So um, sunao. A well-behaved kid, basically. Um, so, sunao, I told you, is a adjective. How would you make this into a adverb? Sunao ku. Good guess. Sunao ku is what you do with e adjective. So, it said sunao e, you can drop e and add ku. However, sunao is a na adjective. To turn a na adjective into an adverb, it's actually the same when you turn a noun into an adverb. Which is adding ni. Sunao ni. So that would be meekly. Ni. Hi. What is the negative form of mitomemas? I mean, mitomeru. Mitomeranai. Hi. That is a really good guess. However, this is actually a yudu verb. So it's actually mitomenai. There's no dot in here. If it was a R plus U verb, you'd be correct. Mitomenai. Okay, let's go read the line from the book. Hi, right, the, li the line. Ma honnin wa sunao ni mitome nai daro benetto wa muhiyojo da. Benet was expressionless, or he is expressionless. Hi. Ma, um, as a confusing mm, thing, well, this whole gene is nebody. I, I just want to let you know. Hi, I just realized that might so, have been confusing. Nebody, he does out. He, uh, so now he, he meekly, he told me, he, he did, he, he did not admit. So he, he um he 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 oh, I forgot the verse. <laughs> Basically, that he all? did not ag admit that that all. It seems. Yeah, I think it can mean it seems, or I, I think. I think he. Did so it's kind of like yeah. I think that the person themselves won't admit this, and the thing that he won't admit is that he I check God <laughs> that he has love toward this yasiki. Remember, because. Um, Nibidi looked at the mansion and his, you know, his always grim and pseudodoy eyes, you know, it loosened a little bit. His mouth loosened. So the main character's like, mm, he must love his home. But, but considering Nibidi's personality of a grumpy old man, he he probably won't admit this himself all meekly or obediently. So now Hi. He won't. Okay. This one is a hard one. It ends with ta 
da mi. Do you know what it starts with? Start with ishi tadami. Yep, yep. Ish, ishi tadami. What does that mean, ishi tadami? Ishi tadami is the cobblestone. Perfect. Yep. Do you happen to know what a niwa is? That's a pretty common word. A niwa is a garden. You're right. It is a garden. Interestingly enough, niwa doesn't just have to refer to a real garden with plants. It can also refer to courtyards. In our context here, it's Hi. actually referring to a courtyard rather than a beautiful garden with our nice roses and stuff. Um, but it has both meanings. And garden was what I was looking for you to say. I did not expect you to know courtyards. Um, but it's like, you kind of see that those are similar ideas, especially if you're like in a fancy location where they have the nice like um, walkways and then their plants in between. That's like, I believe that's a courtyard, right? It's a, I should describe that kind of garden. Oh, uh, yeah. Perfect. So this is the kanji for it. How do you read this word? Niwa. Hi, Niwa. Perfect. And how do you read this word? Our cobblestones. Ishi tada. Yeah. And then you actually throw the me in there, even though it's not in that sentence. Ishi tada mi. So the mi can be Ishi. a straggler or it's hidden on top. It's kind of like um iriguchi. Can be written like this or like this. Both are great. Um, this one's more likely to show up um, than that one, but both of them are the same word. There's no difference in meaning. That's basically what's going on here. Just sometimes there'll be a straggler hiragana character, and sometimes there won't. Um, how do you read this kanji? Iwa. Perfect. So let's go read the sentence from the book. Yashiki no mae ni wa ishi tadami no ni wa ga atta. There is a courtyard made of cobblestone at the front of the estates. Perfect. And you can tell this is just ni plus wa. That's what makes sense in context versus the other ni wa's. You got a nice noun in front of there. You know what wa gai means? Wakai is young. The it is young. Perfect. Um, do you remember what Tsukima meant? Tsukima. Tsuki was a gap. A ma right. is a space, so a, an open space. Yeah, it is what that means. Tsuki, in a way, is... um. You, it's great how you're thinking about it. Um, but a lot of times you can also think about... It can also be used to mean like a chink in one's armor, <laughs> funnily enough. If, but I just want like to randomly point that out. So that's how it's different than just ma. So it's like it's like a gap, but it's like a it's just gap on its own. It's great to describe it. Um, do you know how to read this kanji? Kawai. Close. It's wa kai. So you got the ka and the wa in the wrong place. Kawai. Crown's like, kawaii so, so pitiful. But it's wakai, young. Young people aren't pitiful. <laughs> wakai. Okay. So horrible. <laughs> you see what this is doing to me? It flips everything. Just, just, just. Horrible. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's go read this line. You should see what happened when I read, um like, home addresses. Oh, literally, my. the number literally flipped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wakai otoko wa washi no deshi dazo is this young man is my apprentice. Basically, right? Zo is not a questioning um word. Zo is a more masculine version of yo. Um, I just 
threw that in there. I didn't really think about it, but you probably they don't use dole in this book. But it's a very like aggressive yol. So you'll see. So this is like the kind of sound oh, that I would picture Nebody using zol rather than yol. <laughs> uh, but he doesn't really. He never. I don't think he I, ever says yo or zo in here. But that's what I would pick. That kind of like gruff. Duh. So he's saying that young man's my apprentice. That's what it says here. <laughs> Washi no deshi da zo. Hi. Uh, do you know what an ibara is? Washi no. Ibara is a flower. It's a rose. Yes. Yep. And a uh, ibara no shigemi is a rose bush. Um, can you read this for me? Wakai kiga no bi. Nice. Do you remember what nobite means? Nobite. It's um, it's withering. Close. That's karete. That was on the last page. Nobiru is to stretch. So in other words, it's like stretching up. The tree is stretching. Stretching um, up. So we will be seeing um this word eventually in the future. But yeah, kare kareru. Kare kakata is withered. That was a good guess by um context. Kare kakata. Do you know how to read Kare this kakata. word? It's kigi. Yep, kigi. Trees. Kigi. It's a uh, it get the ren daku. Um. Hi. Let's go read the sentence. Ishi no tsuki magara. Ibara ya wakai kiki ga achikochi ni nobite iru. Tsukima. The gap of the rocks. From the gap of the rock, rows and young trees. They achikochi ni here and there. Nobite iru. They stretches up or yeah. they stretches. So in this case, it's kind of like it's saying it's growing here, but it's it's saying These it's stretching are... from the gaps in the rocks to mean they're growing from there. That's where they're coming out of, basically. Yeah. So this is from the rocks in the courtyard, the niwa. <laughs> Um, do you know how to read this word? Hi. Yasuragi te. Oh, I'm sorry. Chu and Chu and. Good guess. Um, but Chuo. I'm pretty sure yes, it is Chu Center. Can you read this word for me? Um. Sobieru. Hi, sobiedu. Sobiedu, sobiedu means to be stretching upwards, specifically. And it's kind of like a towering over kind of word. So you'd use it to describe something tall, standing upwards. Sobiedu, that's that action. Um, so this is used like with a tall building, for example, or a tall tree. Um, not a human necessarily stretching. It's the It's like to tower over. Kind of. And it so is a yeah. good verb. What is the tough form? Tough form of river is so be a te. Perfect. Do you know what an edda is? Edda. Edda is a branch. It is. It's a branch. Perfect. So now your job is to remember this kanji. Edda. Da. Hi, can you read the sentence for me? He no eda wa sobite iru. The branch of the tree um towers over. Yep. It's towering. Towering over. Perfect. Um, can you read this word for me? Taiboku. 
Perfect. So, Tai Boku. Large. Yep. So, this knee right here is not location knee. You don't knee sobiteru with knee being the location that you're towering to. It is the location where the thing that's towering is. That makes any sense. Um, so let's go read this. Hi. Ni wa ni. Sobiteru taiboku no eda. Right. Should be sobiteru. The brand. Yes. Sobiteru. The branch of the large towering trees at the courtyard. Perfect. At the courtyard. That's exactly what it means. Then you get to go read our last line of the day. Niwa no chuo ni. Chuo ni wa. In the middle of the courtyard, kuroi eda no taiboku ga. The tree of the large, the tree with the large black branch. Bon so be it there. It's towering over one. So, one, how many trees are towering one over? Something, one cylinder. How many trees do you think are towering in this? Yeah. One, one tree. One tree. So, there's a lot of teeny little baby trees around that are wakai in this courtyard, but in the very center, there is one big tree towering over. And what is going on with the branches of this tree? They are black. They could yeah, be. They're black. Um, they're probably not going to be black for the reason that you think they will. They are. Um, we'll be finding that out next time we meet, which is tomorrow. Three. Hi. Oh, it's um, hiding. Uh, any questions?